ahead and begin. To begin this speech, I want to ask you a question. What do you think is bigger by an area? Europe or United States of America? If you think it's Europe, please raise your hand now. Okay, three of you, four. And if you think it's USA, please raise your hand right now. Okay, so most of you think that USA is bigger <coughs> by an area than Europe. Actually, those of you who voted for Europe, you were right. Mm -hmm. Europe is bigger by an area because uh, Europe is 3.9 million miles square miles, and the USA is only 3.8 million square miles. So, what I wanted to say by this, uh, Europe is pretty much the same size as USA. But despite the same size, there is a lot of differences. Many of you have been to Europe, many of you have not. In my opinion, I think you who have been to Europe, you'll agree that Europe is really beautiful. I will introduce Europe, specifically natural, natural significant areas that you'll find ha helpful to know and I hope that will help you to acknowledge some natural elements in Europe. Since we'll talk about the seas, mountains and land of Europe. From the graph, most popular types of tourism on the page 59 of the work Memorable Experiences of the Active Tourism in the Natural Environment by Dina Alexandra Marques Mirogaya, who is a university professor in Portugal. She says that sun and beach type of vacation is the most popular for 83% of people. So first topic we'll talk about are seas. Seas surround Europe from almost every side except east, border with Asia as you can see on this map from geology.com which is a physical map of Europe but we'll talk about one specific sea Mediterranean Sea from chapter sea basins from blue growth scenarios and drivers for sustainable growth from the oceans seas and coasts which was report for European Co Commission we know that Mediterranean Sea is the largest and deepest enclosed sea in the world. It divides Europe and Africa, as you can see, and it also connects the Atlantic Ocean through the Strait of the Gibraltar. Since this sea is really big, it borders 22 countries. Mediterranean growth initiative said in their article, Tourism in the Mediterranean, that the Mediterranean region, with its rich history and unrivaled natural beauty, has long been one of the top tourist de tourism destinations in the world, hosting more than 320 million tourists in the 2015. Five of the countries that surround the Mediterranean Sea have annually more than 20 million of tourists. I have also personal experience with Mediterranean Sea since I've been to Croatia and Italy next to Adriatic Sea and in Greece next to Asian Sea. And I can just recommend it for you because it's really nice and it's really good type of summer vacation. So if you look for something <coughs> Mediterranean Sea, it's for sure a good of the option. Since we know place for summer vacation, let's move to another place interesting for adventurers, higher. Despite that Europe doesn't have the biggest mountains in the world, it still has mountains that are really interesting. If hiking skiing or being in beautiful nature is your passion, listen carefully. From Matt Rosenberg, who is author of two books on geography and an award winning professional geographer, and from his article Top 5 Longest Mountain Ranges in Europe, I chose the one, the Alps. The Alps are the highest and most extensive mountain range in Europe. The Alps stretch across eight European countries in Central Europe. In the French-Italian border, you can find Mont Blanc, which is the highest point in whole Europe. And Mont Blanc means white mountain, so it refers to the thing that it's mountain whole year there. And as this former professor of California State University, Matt Rosenberg says, the Alps remain one of the world's top travel destination with good reason. So it's also good reason for you to go there and to see how nice it's there. But here in Missouri, we don't have big mountains, we don't have other seas, 
But what we do have are farms, is agriculture, the grass. And so does Europe. Europe is a great place for farming, full of an arable land. And arable land is land that can be used for growing crops. I was just quoting webpage Everything Connects created by Georgia Setalios, who is certified sustainability professional. In Europe, there is highest percentage of an arable land in the world. Due to arable land by Nation Master, which is webpage created by three professional set writers from Australia, Norway, and Sweden, we know that three countries with the highest percentage of arable land in the world are Denmark, Ukraine, and Moldova, which are all in Europe. So if you like farming, you can go to Europe and I'm sure you'll find some good job opportunity. So, as you probably know, Europe is full of nature, which is worth seeing. It's amazing how beautifully great God created it there. It's really diverse and really unique. And since I live there, I really love it there, and I love to explore it, not just for cultural things, but also for natural that I mentioned to you. And I can just give you advice to go there and see it, because this was only glance at the seas, the mountains, and arable land, and it showed us three different topics that were represented in this small continent. I hope you'll learn something new that will be useful and that you'll be able to visit Europe and not just these mentioned places. See you in Europe. Thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you.